this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare the Steel Series Aerox 3 Wireless with the brand new Steel Series Aerox 3 2022 edition, the ghost version of this mouse. Now, there are a number of different variations of the Aerox 3 Wireless in its new form, and the ghost edition is quite possibly the most striking. Both of them are very similar though, so if you saw them, you'd be forgiven for thinking that they were the same mouse. And that's because very little has changed with the Aerox 3 Wireless 2022 edition. They have essentially added some new and improved PTFE feet to the bottom. But otherwise, both mice have the same specs. They both have a CPI that goes up to 18,000 maximum. 400 IPS, 40 Gs acceleration, 1000 Hz polling rate, 6 programmable buttons, and are designed for claw, fingertip, or palm grip. You will note quite a striking difference between the two here, obviously with the original version being in black, and the one that I'm reviewing now, and I'll link to that video in the description, appearing in this ghost variation. I actually found that the newer version does have some interesting highlights to it though. And one of the things that you'll see in a minute is that the RGB lighting on the Ghost model is incredible. Now, I thought that the original Aerox 3 Wireless was pretty good for its RGB lighting, to be honest. A very nice looking mouse. And it has a number of different highlights. Thanks to that honeycomb finish, it's incredibly lightweight. Coming in at around 68 grams, which is one of the lightest wireless gaming mice that you can get with this honeycomb style into it. You'll see they both have sort of matte textured finish to them, so they're easy to hold on to. They're quite low profile, they sit quite low to the desk. I've done a video recently comparing the Aerox 3 wireless with SteelSeries Prime wireless, which is another SteelSeries lightweight mice, and that mouse sits a lot higher at the desk, off the back, pushes up into your palm, and sits in the hand in a completely different way. But otherwise, this is a reasonably sized mouse. It's not large and it's not tiny, but a comfortable one and very easy to move around thanks to that ultra lightweight design. But one of the things that people had complaints about with the original Aerox 3 was the fact that it didn't have PTFE feet. And as you'll see on the underside, it basically just had these small circles for the slick areas. I still found it was easy enough to game on and I didn't really have a problem with it. However, the new one is very different. Now, one of the things that struck me about the 2020 Do edition is it seems like the RGB lighting is even brighter than before. You'll see I've got some shots of it in the dark here, and I actually said I felt like it's like a torch. You can light up the room with it. It's really hard to do it justice on camera, but just trust me, it is incredibly bright. And that has a knock-on effect. But what you'll see is that both of them out of the box are very similar. They both have that same flexible cable, they both have a USB-C dongle to connect to your PC, and they both boast up to 200 hours of battery life. At least that's the claim, because these mice work with both Bluetooth and with 2.4 gigahertz wireless use in this dongle. And with the dongle, you can get about 80 hours or so is the claim. And you also have fast charging capabilities with the Aerox 3 wireless. So that means you can plug it in for a very short period of time and get a nice boost in battery life, which is definitely a bonus because that means you can not have to worry about the battery. But one thing that I found with the new version of the mouse is it actually doesn't seem to last as long as the original. SteelSeries claims that both the original Aerox and the new Aerox has 200 hours max battery life on Bluetooth and 80 on wireless. I found, to be honest, that I was plugging it in more often. Now, your experience may vary. It depends how much of the RGB lighting you're using. But as I showed in the review, the software allows you to tweak some of the sleep settings and other things. But I found that I was just plugging in the 2022 edition more regularly than I was the original Aerox 3, which is a shame. But only one small problem in an otherwise very nice mouse. Now this doesn't use optical mechanical switches or optical magnetic switches, which you see on the Prime Wireless, but it still does have some very nice click response on them. And both mice have the same setup in terms of the true move sensor, for example, and the connection to your PC is also very solid. I've not had any problems with that. 
and they're both very nice looking mice and i also like the fact that it has six programmable buttons including that cpi adjustment button on the top they also have intelligence in terms of like letting you know using the rgb lighting when the battery is running low and the other highlight to them is that they're both rated ip54 so dirt and dust resistant not waterproof or moisture proof in that way but they should hold up over time so if you don't need to worry about the fact that they have holes in them that it could be a problem so you can also just if it starts to get a bit dirty you can just blow some compressed air in there and sort it out now if you want to hear a comparison with the prime wireless i highly recommend checking out that versus video because i compared those two and you can hear the difference between the feet unfortunately i don't have the original aerox 3 wireless to be able to show you the difference now but the larger ptfe areas that you get on the aerox 3 2022 edition make it a bit slicker and easier to move about so now not only is it nice to look in with brighter rgb lighting but it also has a much slicker bottom on it and it's just easier to move and again this is now one of my favorite wireless gaming mice the original aerox 3 was one of my faves because of its design a very nice looking mouse easy in the hand great to play around with good battery life good looks the flexibility of both bluetooth and wireless comfortable and good button setup and very responsive the software is also really good and so my thoughts for the aerox 3 2022 edition continue and the fact that you now have a choice of colors also makes it very appealing this has been the Provoke Prawn. Please check out everything you need in the description, including links to the reviews and all the specs. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.